We begin with some sad news for St. Louis and Cardinals Nation. Baseball legend Lou Brock has died. Let's take a live look at his statue outside of Bush Stadium, where fans have already started to leave flowers and cards. For those who saw him play, they can still hear 50,000 fans yelling Lou. Good evening. Thank you for being with us. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Morgan Young. We have team coverage tonight, starting with Mike Bush, who's looking back at a Hall of Fame career. He was quite simply one of the greatest Cardinals players ever. Reagan ball, hit off the pitcher, to the third baseman, no play, base hit, 3,000 for Lou Brock. Lou Brock may be best known as the centerpiece of one of the greatest trades in baseball history. Coming to the Cardinals from the Cubs in June of 1964 for pitcher Ernie Brolio. Brolio never won more than four games for the Cubs. Brock became a first ballot Hall of Famer. And he once told us he always pushed himself to be the best. One of the things the game demand of you, and that is to bring your A game to the game mm -hmm. every day. And sometime when you do, on a day you didn't think you had it, mm -hmm. oh man, that was a smile. <laughs> I got it today. <laughs> Brock was at his best on the biggest stage. In three World Series, his batting average was an astounding 391. And then, of course, there were the stolen bases. Well, I think in a sense, our ball club decided to go to the stolen base. I was really instructed to steal bases. He is still the National League's all-time stolen base leader. And his 118 steals in 1974 is also the league's single season record. Brock went into the Hall of Fame in 1985 and was a Hall of Famer off the field. Rock year the after year, you could find him helping out good causes, like our baseball camp for kids who are deaf. There were people there to help me when I started out, and these kids are no different. They're, we are there for them as well. Lou Brock fought through a number of medical conditions over the last few years and passes away at the age of 81. He's but when we think of him, we will think of the joy he played with and the joy he brought to thousands on thousands of Cardinals baseball fans.